Alright, early morning to the first race day of 2017. Not really a race day. Dude, I just hit I just hit black ice, like legit hit black ice. Ooh, that'll get your heart rate spiked for the morning. She's Louise. I mean, what a crazy start to this freaking day. Honestly, if I hadn't hit that little bit of uh, of black ice right at that right moment, I would have ended up just like that car. Because I wouldn't have... There's no way to tell that this road was icy. So I'd have just been vlogging to the camera like, man, 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 and then I would have hit the full-on iced road. Whoa. Jeez Louise back to racing so today technically is the first race day it's a it's a practice crit it's a training crit so I'm going to do um, some mentoring I'm gonna mentor the the cat five like the beginners which basically just entails me kind of riding around behind them riding in the group with them you know if someone does something super squirrely or weird or has questions you know I'm there I don't know that's kind of cool I think that's really neat to like take a role maybe in the community that's a little bit more authoritative I guess would be the word just I want to be involved more with the community right then after that there'll be the open race and um, again it's it's not there is no finishes there's no podiums there's nothing like that it's just kind of a warm-up uh, to the season we'll see how the new DB goes let's not hit any more black eyes for the rest of the road squirrely and then oh no just to ride around the next turn there was like a rollover yeah so okay. someone rolled over and the, oh. you know, the ambulances were all there shoot i lucked out well glad you made it you're all set sweet man do i need a that's your name james really it's james tyler <laughs> and so <laughs> i, I kind of that. i forget what's on your license james i think it's tyler okay no worries just curious but legally i'm james so I, sometimes i do i need a spiffy orange vest you do thanks thank you What's uh what's your name? Kyle. Kyle? Yeah. How long have you been riding? I've been riding now for about four years or so. Four years? Yeah. So what made you want to get out here and I uh, started riding with Jamin, a uh, part of Fulton Cycle Works, um, Fulton Racing and hit me up one time, he's like, You should join and you know, it was an opportunity that presented itself and I was like, you know, I'm ready to take it to the next level. Having four years on the bike and then coming into racing, most people have no years on the bike and go into racing. So do you think that's like a huge advantage? Like where's your fitness Absolutely. Right now? I feel probably the strongest point of my cycling career right now. Yeah. I don't want to be too conceited. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. go into this humble um, as a learning experience and take it how it goes. So we're going to go out and follow around the Cat Fives in their clinic and mentor them, see what they're up to and give them some pointers if they need it. I think it'd be cool. I remember doing this a long time ago. My, like, I think my second race, right, was like a clinic. It was a lot of fun. I actually locked bars with the dude and we were like banging like shoulders and I locked bars and the guy wrecked. Anyway, let's go out and uh, roll around with the, uh, the clinic guys. You 
want to look back, right? But if you look back over your right shoulder, you drift to your right. Yeah. All right, so clinic done. Cool. Kind of just rode around. I didn't want to like bark orders at anybody. But it was neat. It was neat to spin around. So I'm watching the uh, kids race right now, like the juniors race. It'd be really cool if I was out there mentoring, but my Garmin's dying. I think I'll go out for the Cat 5 race, like the the um, the beginner crit race. Go out and check that out. Go ride around with them and then do our race for sure. Right now I'm gonna smash like a dragon fruit smoothie. Hello. So last night my wife made me uh, steamed some potatoes, boiled some potatoes and rice with some teriyaki sauce and chia seeds in the rice. Well, um, super good. And dude, it's so easy to just like, uh, cook a bunch of this. I mean, this is what, two dollars in food, three dollars in food, and probably maybe fifteen hundred calories. Right? It's a lot of, a lot of calories in this, and you can just package it up. Um, I mean, she did that last last night. I grabbed it on my way out. I'm not really that hungry. I just don't want to be um, mid race and like, cause I haven't eaten anything all day. Rice and potatoes. So we did the uh, the Cat 5 thing, and so my GoPro died. I brought two GoPros. My GoPro died right at the finish, where there was a wreck at the finish. Ah, but uh, so awesome, dude. This one kid from uh, this like junior academy team, who just kept bridging and bridging and bridging. Like he'd get dropped off the brake and get back on. It was awesome. It was so cool to see those guys just like learning. But dude, those Cat 5s are fast. So, uh... For sure, got a little warm up in the legs. Uh, now it's uh, it's time to do like the normal, like the practice crit, the P one two three practice crit. I think it's actually P one two three four. It's just open, right? It's just an open crit. So let's do that.
not often talked about how expensive gas is when you're traveling for races. And this race is pretty much the closest race that I'll do. But dude, sometimes like if you have a big truck or whatever, a big vehicle, man, gas is freaking expensive. Thank you so much. Red Bull, sponsor me. The vegan cyclist endorses the lovely flavor of cranberry Red Bull. What do you think about that, Red Bull? A great salesman. All right, so let's just debrief on that race before I head back up the hill, drive an hour into the forest. There's really no way to recreate race intensity in training. I mean, you can definitely go hard in training for sure. But when you're racing against other guys, you know, they're dictating the pace, not you. And so there's just, you know, there's just times where in training, yeah, you're going hard, but in, in a race like this, you go, you go hard, you go in the red and then there's another attack and then there's another attack and there's another attack. And so those are just forcing you to go deep in the red. And that's so hard to do in training. And so these training crits are a fantastic way to kind of rev up that motor. It was, it was picking up someone else's power, which was really weird. So I was, the, what, it, what the readings on the power uh, were not mine. <laughs> they weren't mine. I would stop pedaling and it would show watts. And so someone else in the group had, you know, it was connected to their power meter, which is super funny. Uh, and then so, you know, I was kind of just having to go off heart rate. But man, I... I mean, I made moves. My kind of goal was to, to to attack when I didn't think I could attack. I just often get in these positions where if I don't make that bridge, if I don't cover that move, that move is gonna go away. Maybe that's how everyone feels. Maybe it wouldn't be the case. But, uh, you know, coming to a bunch sprint, especially with that group of guys, man, Sean Bagley is a, a past state champion, right? Who won, so... It's like, anyway, great first little uh, leg opener for the year. And, um, dude, the mentoring was super cool, too. I, that, that was really neat. Definitely going to do this again next week. All right, into the forest we go. I know I've said this before, but someone in, I think one of my very first YouTube channels, someone said, I got Chipotle. And someone commented and said, bro, here's a Chipotle tip. Hot tip is get the bowl and get two burrito um, tortillas on the side because they load the burrito or they load the bowl up hard man they just fill the bowl up so what i'll do is i'll get i get uh both beans black beans pinto beans uh white rice brown rice fajitas mild salsa corn guacamole lettuce dude and they just it is so high it's piled high so then i can split that bowl up into two different burritos so i get two burritos for the price of one for So we're getting all set up to uh, have a little slumber party in the living room and watch some pirated movies that are still in theaters, because that's just what we do. 
And I just want to leave off on one little thought that like, you know, I'm like racking my brain, man, I probably should have, I could have done something a little bit better there in the finish. Um, and what it's doing is it's making me so hungry for the season. And so I'm glad that I started this this early. A lot of guys wait really late into the season to uh, to start riding, but getting that first race under your belt, man, for me, it just lights a fire. And I just want to like train hard and, and attack and it's so much fun. Uh, so I can't wait for the next one, and uh, so I'm really glad that I did this, you know, re <clears throat> results aside. So, <laughs> oh, dude, you're naked. <laughs>